What's up YouTube? OpenAI just released a preview of their new AI model Sora, which will let you generate high quality realistic video from text. Now if you've watched any of our previous videos, we've covered various AI tools like text generators and image generators, but Sora definitely takes it to the next level. And today we're going to explore various examples and discuss how this will affect the future of content creation. So let's get into it. To start off, let's check out some examples of AI-generated video that was created using Sora. Here's a video of a man wearing a spacesuit exploring a vast landscape. I've included the text prompt at the bottom so you can see exactly what was typed to generate this video. Now at a first glance, I think we can all agree that the quality is outstanding. This looks like a real human being, and if you told me this was filmed in real life, I think most of us would 100% believe it. You can look at the details on his face and his eyes, and you'll notice his freckles, his stubble, even his pupils look extremely realistic. The way he moves is fascinating as well. Here's another example of a drone shot with waves crashing against a cliff. The movement of the water and the way the sun bounces off the cliff is absolutely stunning. Now if you're wondering if Sora will work well for generating animated video content, this is what you can expect. The textures and details in the fur really highlight the capabilities of this AI model. Now obviously every example isn't going to be perfect when you take a deeper look. In this video, you can see some irregularities with the way the pirate ships are floating in the coffee, but you can definitely expect this tool to improve quickly over time, especially since just a year ago, this is what we were getting from AI-generated video. If we look at the technical report, Sora will be able to generate up to a minute of high fidelity video. Now obviously they plan on scaling this generation model, so you can definitely expect that limit to increase with time. Further down in the report, you'll learn that you can generate videos with custom dimensions and various aspect ratios as well. This will be great for switching between vertical and horizontal video content, and you'll also be able to generate smaller video sizes for testing out certain text prompts. All the examples we've shown so far are text-to-video samples, but OpenAI says that you can use existing images and videos as inputs too. This could really be cool if you want to bring an old image to life or repurpose any existing content that you already have. Just by scrolling through the various examples, you can see the range of styles and themes that this AI model can generate. But it does make me question what's in store for the future of stock video websites or even the film industry as a whole. Why spend large amounts of money paying for high quality stock video or putting together large productions when soon enough we'll be able to generate cinematic content with just a basic text prompt? Now clearly nobody can predict the future and nobody knows exactly how these industries will change and adapt. But the way AI generators are advancing at such rapid speeds, you can't help but question how this will change the process of content creation on small and large scales. Well, that's all for today's video. Hopefully you found this interesting, and we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more amazing content, and we'll see you in the next one.